Hello Twin Flames, welcome to my channel, whether you're new or you're coming back. Thank you for being with me and let's do a quick check-in. Let's see what's going on with Twin Flames and let's get started right away. Today I've got the Wisdom of the Oracle deck with me to begin with. So let's get an Oracle card for Feminines, for Masculines, and then we'll go into Tarot and see what are the, the Twins going through right now and how they see the connection at this time. We just experienced a massive solar eclipse. Uh, in Aries, <clears throat> it will still be, that angel will be with us pretty much till end of April. Uh, we also, that event coincided with new moon in Aries, which is just as important. And we are still in Mercury retrograde, which is also important. <laughs> so it creates this interesting melting pot of energies that can come into very unpredictable combinations and results. With that said, let's get started. And by the way, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing. This really helps me get these messages out to people. Also, I started uh, doing my weekly shows, Mindfulness and Wellness. I definitely need to update my website to get that information out. But And, and we're still actually setting everything up, like it's a process uh, to get the podcast channels up, to have everything set up on Facebook and... Uh, yeah, so like in terms of recordings, um, I think the easiest way is to watch it on YouTube right now. And I will do a community tab post uh, with that link just so that you have it there. It's also present in one of my uh, readings. I think the one I posted on, it's either Sunday or Monday, one of those. Sunday I didn't do a post, right? So <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyways, the weekend post had that link. So you can check it out. It's a story about me in this first one. And the next one we're going to talk about intuition. And the next one is going to be this Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Feminines, you have the here and now card. So it tells me, and I love this egg here. To me, that also means the creation, the new cycle. And it's very important to stay, I don't know if alert is the right word, but it's important to be very aware of what's happening around you. Any events, anything, something said that kind of like uh, rang a bell in, inside of you somehow, right? Take note of that. Be very attentive with what is happening, with how things are developing. And be ready for surprises for sure. It's definitely a time of tower moments. Not all of them necessarily going to be bad, but definitely unpredictable and that will depend of course on your personal situation not just the transits but what have you been doing what what are you up to what are your manifestations for this new cycle and if you haven't really had a chance to think about those now would be a perfect time so that whatever changes are coming in for you they're going to be a reflection of what you're trying to bring in for masculines, we have number 30. So we had 32 and this is 30. TikTok. Kind of similar idea. You know, uh, there was the difference that for masculines, it feels more like a pressure. For the feminines, it's like I'm enjoying myself in the moment. For masculines, the same energy takes resonance as, oh, wow, like this time kind of like slips by or, you know, like there is this sense of time and like, am I on time? Am I late for something? Am I trying to jump into this ahead of time? Things like that. So all kinds of questions around timing and whether it's the right time for something. Okay, let's get into the reading and get more information on it. Today I decided to use the Souls on Fire deck. Let's see what we have for the twins. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Cups. Yes, wish fulfillment is coming in in this uh, cycle. But you know how they say, be careful what you wish for? And that's exactly what it is. And that's why I started saying that if you haven't had a chance to uh, decide on your intentions and your manifestation, or at least review the ones that you've already had in place, this may surprise you not in a so such a good way, right? Like something will arrive that you've manifested, already and you'll be like oh but i don't want that anymore 
like this isn't a good time for it like what am i supposed to do with this now right so that's why i'm inviting you to do that be very mindful of that the star at the bottom of the deck i actually saw this card uh when i did my pre-shuffle and i immediately thought i never really paid too much attention to this aspect of this card this is the after tarot so you know like the person is kind of standing outside with the water and in this after tarot moment one she's pouring one of the jugs onto herself another one onto the the land and to me it means it's like this card of service which is one of the ways the star card can be interpreted is like your soul mission on this planet and how you can be of service to others give love to yourself give love to the land to the world around you right so there's something and speaking about the world the next card here is the world so at this time you may have a more profound feeling onto what is the impact that you're creating on this world positive and negative but then immediately considering how can I create positive impact so that there is something that stays after me where I made this place, I made this planet a better place <laughs> to live on, right? Like not the worst, which is what essentially as human beings we do, nature, like if you don't really think about it, you're creating negative feedback, right? But how do I consciously create positive impact and create it so much so that it's balances out the negative and goes beyond that so if you like do the debit credit balance that i'm actually in the plus in the positive that i've actually created positive impact that i've been a positive experience for this planet you know like think about that perception right not like what my experience is on this planet but also what is the experience of this planet with me at this lifetime Feminines, you have Page of Swords, clarified by Page of Swords, and my guys are doing this to me again. <laughs> I might revisit, uh, I'll be honest, as, as one of the things I'm changing for this cycle for myself, is I'm going to revisit the spread that I'm doing. I must admit, the clarifiers have been very helpful to me, but more so these days I'm getting this kind of combinations, which is the way my guys are telling me that, you know, this is... It's not cheating as much, but it's like you should have more confidence in your intuitive skills and how you read the card in this specific moment. You don't need clarifiers, right? See if that's something that you can apply in your life or something that you are doing. Maybe you right now feel like you need extra help where deep down you know that that's actually not the case anymore. So it's the growing up part. <laughs> and Page of Swords, by the way, is generally that idea, right? Like. How do you grow as a student, as someone who is learning, who is taking things on, uh, who is consciously on that, uh, well, let's say spiritual growth path, right? That's what we're talking about here, essentially. It doesn't even matter if you have specific activities or information in mind or areas of knowledge, right? It all, come, all comes down to the spiritual path for us, for light workers, for twin flames. And yeah, this is like your learning path. It's almost like your curriculum. Do you have your curriculum? How do you assess that you're moving forward, that you're making progress, right? Like for me, I just gave you an example, like seeing the same cards, main card clarifier is like, yeah, my guys are saying like, you got this. You don't need a clarifier. You don't need that crutch, right? Like this is a sign for me to do something else, to step into the next level. See if, that's, if there's something that you can use as that assessment, that you can ask for. If you feel like you've been on that previous cycle too long, or it just feels like it needs to be different. <clears throat> for masculines, we have Seven of Cups clarified by the sun. So it's such a beautiful sun card. I love that they're also both twins here. So yeah, it's a card of choice, of course. Um, the masculines know what they want. <clears throat> they know what they want to feel like. They know what they want to create. At least, like, I'm not saying that they're hundred percent accurate, but at least that's their um, belief, right? But they still, there's still a gap between where I am now and where I want to be, and like, how do I get there, right? So there is some 
doubt, there is some confusion that Masculines are working through and eclipses are definitely pushing them into making a choice, into deciding which way to go, right? It's almost like, let's take it as an example. I want to have a happy family, right? Like I want to, to have a home, I want to have a life partner, maybe like, um, I don't know, create a family together, have children, whatever. Let's just take it as an example. Like they know the concept and now they're looking at what they have in real life. Like what are their options? What is the, what is available to them? And they can see like in terms of get, getting together with a partner, with a life partner, choosing someone as a life partner, they have more than one option. That includes divine feminine, but there are other options too. There's also an option to create that home life for themselves without getting a life partner. And, you know, you can use your imagination of how that could be possible. Starting from, I'm going to be living with my parents and I don't really mind because they're taking care of me. That's good enough for me. I'm happy. Ending with, I can afford or I will be able to afford to hire someone to work for me and like decorate my place, do the cleaning, the cooking, whatever, right? Like they are considering different options but there is this time this x time or y time whichever way you want to see it when they're supposed to make a choice and go with a specific path the way they experience it is mostly that they can't really stretch themselves and try to figure like they can't really afford trying several ways at the same time they would like that Right? Like it's risk free or minimizes the risk that they will miss the golden opportunity. Right? But they can't really do that. And some of them negate each other. So they're supposed to choose. So how do you want to do this? Okay. An additional question is Page of Cups clarified by the Dow. Look at all these pages. It's also like fresh energy, new ideas, new learning, new downloads that you're getting, new feelings that you have. And this is for the twins to reflect based on these new feelings and new attitudes towards something that they've known for a while. How it reflects back and how it paints a picture of their previous experience and certain unhealthy patterns and certain toxicity that existed there, certain ego-based existence that they've had. For feminines, page of wands, not page, oh my god. Page of Wands, clarified by Eight of Pentacles. So for feminines, a lot of it is about their career and how they thought that a little bit of passion or like just enough of motivation is good enough, right? Like I have some motivation. I see some uh, meaning in it for myself, right? It's, it's not much, but it's something and you hang on to it and you put in your work into it. Like you kind of... Uh, Put a lipstick on the pig you know like you make it work right and then again a lot of us for at least for a long time they don't know what that happy is really about what that joyful is really about and maybe they see it with other people but it seems like it's an exception it's a very rare thing that people can be so fulfilled and so happy with what they do day in day out right it's like well yeah i mean it's definitely not gonna happen for everyone and then we know how the story goes. <laughs> and of course, as twins, we're supposed to keep searching for it and keep going for that better and better and better in terms of fulfillment, in terms of what it feels like. We are not okay with Page of Cups feeling, right? But this is that reflection on how it's been so far. For masculines, we have Justice clarified by King of Cups. <laughs> oh boy. For masculines, it's this balancing act... Um, between how they feel and how they act. And it goes both ways, meaning that sometimes they feel great, but they're not sure they should act on it. Like they're afraid to act on it. It's like, if it doesn't seem logical or, or, or cool or mature, right? Then you decide not to act on it. And the other way around, they may feel terrible about someone, something happened in their life, but they decide to tolerate that. Right, and there is this balancing act that they've been doing that they can see now how much energy they've wasted historically because they've been trying to compromise and to find a way and like even if it was tough for them they would still be making it work so that other people are okay and also other people see them as like the compliant one 
uh, the one who's like a team player, you know, those concept were, concepts were, it, they seemed real, but they actually did the sabotaging in their life. Wow. How the feminine see in the connection? The chariot clarified by Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Oof. So feminines recognize that there is progress. That right now it might not seem like that. It may seem like it's slow, but they definitely can see it. They see it mostly on their side. And it's interesting because like in this case, chariot, we kind of see the chariot on one side. Usually in the right away, it's like we're looking at, it, at, at this chariot and the charioteer like head on, like face on, right? Uh, but in this case, it's one side. So it's like we know our side, we're responsible for our side, but we also know how much it's, it is an investment. Our personal past and growth is an investment into this union, into this connection. And that's something to recognize and celebrate. What about masculines? We see four of swords clarified by three of pentacles. Yeah, for masculines, they kind of trying to take care of themselves more and they understand that in order to be a good in union, in collaboration, to be doing great things together, to be creating works of art, to be uh, going for something bigger and better than themselves, they need to be in their best shape. And that's what they're trying to figure out for themselves. How do I get there so that it's not procrastination, but I'm actually giving myself the care and the love that I need to be in my balanced, healthy, peaceful self so that I don't have to waste energy on doing the balancing act and trying to reconcile my anxiety and worry and all that stuff, right? But I can move safely into this beautiful space. And that's the way to create works of art, to be your best self, to go for something special. They understand that, and that's what they are working on. Okay, <clears throat> I think I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I love you all, and I'll be back with more readings very, very soon. Love you.